What's up? I'm Inezalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to scale something on the beat in Adobe After Effects. So I will be using some music from Levito. This is another channel that we are actually running. It's all about music. You can use it in your YouTube projects. A link will be in the description so you can use the same music that I'm using in this tutorial. So let's get started. Alright, so here I am in Adobe After Effects and what I will do is import some music. So right here I have my Levito, I will import that audio track and create a new composition, make sure that it's long enough, maybe 5 minutes, and there we go. Scale our main comp and just click OK. Then I will drag in my audio right here and I will right click new and add a new text to uh, the center right here. So I'll just write something like beat, you can import a logo if you want to or something different everything actually works so you can actually scale anything you want that is actually scalable in Adobe After Effects but in this case I will just be using some text. Alright so here I have my text I'll make it a little bit bigger like so and what I also like to do currently we have our anchor point right here I want to go to my pen behind tool and drag my anchor point to the center of my text like so and once you have done that go to the align tab right here and just click and center your text in the composition. Okay, so there we go, we have our audio track. Uh, what we can do is press L twice on the keyboard, so tap it twice and that will uh, reveal the waveform for your audio track. You can see now the entire track right here. I will actually trim this down, so we'll go to the end of my track, press N on the keyboard, right click and trim the comp to work area so it's long, well it's equally as long as uh, the audio track right here. Okay, so we have our audio track, we want to scale this beat text um, on that one when, when the beat drops or when the kicks uh, are hitting, whatever you want, uh, you can really go crazy with this. What you can do is click on the audio and you can even amplify it if you want to you don't need to but you can go for example to effects and presets and like bass and treble you can apply that to your audio and maybe increase the bass to 100 and then we are going to use that uh, to um, actually animate our beat so 100 okay there we go we are going to click on our audio track right click and convert or keyframe assistant, uh, assistant right here and convert the audio to keyframes. Click on that and that will bring up a new um, layer right here that will have the left, right and both channels. Okay, so we'll click back on my audio track. Now we don't need the bass and treble anymore because that will distort our audio. It's just uh, to get the information. So I'm going to delete that effect right here. Click on the audio amplitude and press U twice on the keyboard. That will reveal all the keyframes right here. So you can see right here that actually um, it has converted each individual frame of audio to keyframes right here and they all have a value as you can see right here. I'm going to delete right and left channel because we only want to work with both channels in this case. We can see we have some different values right here and if we're actually going to look right here we see that um, everything stays below like 5 in general. But once the bass drops, we get something like a 90 right here. And then right here it's again 50. So let's say we want everything above 85, for example. Okay, so that's some information that we need to keep in mind. So everything above 85, we want to give it that punch, uh, that scale up. So what we want to do actually is click on our B text, press S on the keyboard. We're going to hold Alt and click on the stopwatch for the scale. Now you'll see right here your expression uh, pick whip tool and we're going to pick whip uh, the slider value of our audio amplitude. So now we get a value like so. I'm actually going to hover over here and just make this a little bit longer so you can see what's in here. We have a temp comma temp. This just is the value uh, that um, the scale is going to be. So it's going to look at the slider right here and if we're going to take a look we're going to see that it's zero when it's zero right here or yeah, just two um, in value and then scales up to like 90 when uh, the beat drops. So what we want to do actually in front of our 
um, temp comma temp uh, with the parentheses right here or the brackets uh, we want to write value plus and if we're going to click away now it's going to keep that original 100% value so the value of the actual number that's written in here so if you change that to 50 it will be smaller uh, so the value is 100 plus the effect of the both channels right here okay so currently it's actually looking at each individual keyframe and as you can see it's uh, like a little bit too much animation in your beat uh, like right here it's constantly vibrating and that's not something that we want especially here when it becomes a little bit louder you can see that it's becoming a little bit too crazy and we want to fix that okay to fix that we're going to hold alt and click on the slider or the stopwatch for the slider of that amplitude and here's the interesting part we'll have to write down linear open parentheses value comma and in here we want to actually enter the value of everything that we don't want to be uh, well everything that shouldn't be affected so everything um, below let's say 70 comma and everything above 85 comma everything that's underneath 70 becomes zero everything that's like above 80 becomes 50 and then we close the parentheses and click away so right here we don't see any animation as you can see right here if we're going to look at these beat drops the beat hits and then right here it actually does give a kick in you can still change these values maybe you want to change this to like 50 and this maybe to 75 and then you're going to have a little bit more animation like right here as well so let's see what we have here I'm going to start so right here because we have our beat drop right here so I'm going to press B on the keyboard and press 0 on the numpad to do a preview okay so I think it's affecting a little bit too much what we'll do is change the 50 here to 20 and now you will see that the effect will be a lot less intense so you can see it's just a really subtle uh, animation right here and maybe you want to even lower this a lot more to like something like 10 and yeah you can do a lot of crazy things you can also apply this effect to something different than the scale so now we are working with the scale maybe you want the position to be affected uh, you can do that as well so it's all very easy the and uh, this expression is actually just a general expression that you can use on either what uh, kind of animation you want to do if you want to uh, change the glow intensity for example you can do that the same way instead of clicking on the scale go for the glow so uh, this is basically how to do this effect it's really simple but a really cool effect um, a little bit of expressions I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more also check out our website we have a bunch to offer when it comes to filmmaking assets motion graphics assets so definitely check it out uh, a link will be in the description and then I'll see you in the next one goodbye